What's up, people? So, today's video is going to be about how to build a bigger bench press. And uh, the last video of how to bench press like a pro did really well, so I figured a lot of people would want more tips and tricks on bench pressing. So today, we're going to be working on like the halfway sticking point, and in doing that, what I'm going to be showing y'all is how to, uh, you know, work past that halfway sticking part. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, you get to a certain point off your chest and about halfway up you stop. Um, for me, that's kind of like my biggest issue once I get towards, you know, my max weight. Uh, and uh, how I'm going to show you that is kind of like in between a pin press, which for y'all that don't know what a pin press is, where you start from the bottom and you go up. And a block press, whereas you, of course, as it sounds, you have a block sitting on your chest. You come down, you touch the block, you push back up. That's going to work the halfway point. The pin press itself is going to be working the sticking aspect, as in like when you stop. So it's going to help you drive through that. And how we're going to be doing that is uh, I have a bench. An adjustable bench and I'll show y'all I'm gonna turn the camera around um, adjustable bench I have it to where when the weight is down it comes halfway up so when I start I'm gonna put the bar down here and go from the stop position up <coughs> and if you don't have an adjustable bench. I know it's frowned upon, but if you find a Smith machine, or not a Smith machine, excuse me, scratch that, not a Smith machine, a squat rack is what I was trying to say. If you have a squat rack, if they have the safety bars, you can do the same exact thing. Um, anyways, I'm going to set y'all up and go from the, well, technically my second set. Anyways, uh, set y'all up and I'm going to get to it. So, hold tight. All right, guys, so I got y'all set up. Um, and what I want y'all to do is pay attention to like, I'm gonna unwrap the weight, set it down on the bars, the safety bars, and then I'm gonna start uh, my actual set. Um, and basically, you know, you wanna do this more in like a lower rep type of range, you know, to help actually build the halfway point. So this is more of a, you know, of course, it's more of a power movement, but you know, you don't want to like over rep it if that makes sense. But, anyways, we're about to get to it. So. All right, guys, so hopefully, um, I can't really look at the camera and do that at the same time, but uh, hopefully y'all can tell the basis of like what I'm trying to explain to y'all um, as far as like find your halfway point, put the safety bars at that point, bring the bar down to the safety bars, and work the, uh, in a sense, it's like you're working a pause, but you're not necessarily worrying about the poles off the bottom you're more worried about trying to get past the, the sticking point in your bench if you have that sticking point if you don't then you know kudos to you uh you got really stronger triceps but anyways i'm gonna do 
one, two more sets. Uh, hopefully, hopefully y'all can learn something from this and use this and, uh, you know, y'all's bench pressing routine if y'all are having these issues. All right, I went up 20 pounds on each side. Uh, so that's a 10 and that's a 10. This should be my last set. Um, and like I said, this is just, you know, the work, your sticking point. So if you don't necessarily have a problem halfway up, but you have a problem at the three quarter mark, set it up at a three quarter mark. If <clears throat> you have a way to do that, I mean, I know some places probably don't have adjustable benches. And, you know, a lot of places are going to be frowned upon benching in the squat rack, but sometimes you just got to do stuff, and if people get mad about it, they just get mad about it. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, and again, like I said, just pay attention, and I might even try to move y'all over a little bit. Oh. Well, you know what? I like it better right here. All right, guys. Like I said, find your halfway point if that's where you stick at. Put the bar on the safety bar, and then just press. Pretty simple. All Alright guys, um, pretty much it, uh, and the craziest fact is, you know, if I was coming off the normal unrack spot, I could get that for easy two to three versus, you know, that one and a half, so the point is, it works, so just give it a shot, hopefully you learn something, if not, sorry, um, if you have any comments, questions, leave them. I'll try to answer them for you. Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll enjoy that.